Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to install matplotlib and Python 3 on a Macintosh. The first thing I'm going to do is open up a web browser and go to python.org. From there it's very easy, I just click on, or I just hover over the downloads link and click on Python 3.8.2. It should automatically detect that the version you want is for Macintosh. I download that package, click on it, and this starts the install wizard. I continue, continue, I agree, and install. The installation is pretty quick. All right, once the installation is finished, it opens up a folder, Python 3.8. Um, one thing you might want to do is double click the update shell profile command. This makes sure that I can type Python 3 in terminal. All right, so that's the end of the Python install. All I have to do now is go to um, Spotlight, the, the uh, magnifying glass and I type terminal. This gives me access to command line on this Macintosh, and I can now type Python 3. Just to verify the installation worked okay. There it is, there's the version number I'm looking for. I can exit. Next I'm going to install matplotlib. And just like in the Windows installation, if you looked at that video already, I'm going to use pip3. That's the Python install program, and I'm going to say install matplotlib. This is the plotting library that um, you want to get access to, and it's already finished the install here. Um, it does install some prerequisites, such as NumPy. All right, so now we have matplotlib and Python installed. Let's install an editor so we can actually create some programs here. Um, I'm going to go to atom.io. Atom is a pretty popular, uh, easy to use uh, editor for programmers. So it's already detected that I'm on Mac OS. I'm going to hit the download button here. Atom is really user friendly. It does syntax highlighting. Uh, just like CodeWriter, if you're if you saw the Windows video. All right, Adam's installed. I click on that tab. It's decompressing the Adam editor now. And here it is. So it actually just decompresses the editor right here into downloads. I probably want to move it into applications, make it more convenient. So I just drag and drop it there. Close my downloads. And now I can run Adam from here. And again, because I'll be using this program quite a bit, I'm going to right click on the icon down here in the bar and keep it in dock. So I can always get to it later without having to go to applications. All right, so all we need to do now is create a file. So I'm gonna ignore all this more advanced stuff over here. Just click on File, New File. And let's start typing in some um, commands to load matplotlib so we can test to see whether the library was installed correctly. So first, I'm going to import matplotlib. 
And then I'm going to import something called PyPlot. That's a submodule of matplotlib. And because that's a lot to type every time I want to access one of the functions in matplotlib.pyplot, I'm going to import it as plt. So I can just call it plt from now on. And you notice already that Adam um, is suggesting things I might want to type next. So it's looking for commands that match what I've already typed. Uh, in this case, these suggestions aren't very helpful, but often when you're programming, it's nice to have something that autocompletes like that. All right, so the first thing we need, some, we need is some data so we can plot it. So I'm going to create two lists here, list x, just going to be the x values as if you were plotting with pen and paper. You have your x values and your y values. So let's just make up some x values. One, two, three, four, five. And let's create some corresponding y values in another list. Uh, let's just double these. So two, four, six, eight, ten. And now we're going to create a figure and some axes. This is how both um, MATLAB and matplotlib, if you remember from the Windows video, matplotlib really emulates a lot of what MATLAB does as far as plotting. So we're going to ask it to create a figure and some axes. We're actually going to plot onto the axes. All right, so now we can say fig ax equals plot dot subplots. So we have two objects being returned here that we can use. And the first thing I want to do is call a function, a member function of the axis object, and just tell it to plot our x and y lists. We want to be able to see the plot, so we have to tell MATLAB or PyPlot to actually show the plot we made. All right, let's make sure there are no typos here. Uh, looks pretty good to me. All right. So I'm now going to save this, save as, and I'm going to save it under CS151 here. I'm going to create a new folder called my code. And inside that folder, let's just call this um, plot test.py. Save that. Go right down to the terminal. Clear this, and first thing I'm going to do is change into the correct directory. So cd change directory dot dot just means go up a level in the directory hierarchy. So now I'm in the directory cs151. I want to go into the directory I just created called my code. I'm doing ls to show the contents of my code directory, and here's our plot test.py. And I can run that just like we have previously in script mode with Python 3 plot test.py. And great, so now we have our plot, and it looks like our y values at each corresponding x value really is twice the x value. So it looks to me like matplotlib installed and is working correctly. All right, I'm going to close terminal and the editor. And again, um, even when I close these, because I added them through options to the doc, they'll always be there ready for me to use in the future. All right, that's the end of this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions or run into any problems installing Python 3 and matplotlib or Atom on your Macintosh. Bye-bye.